All right, hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to this news video, finally. I am the Ninja Nier, and the topics we're covering today are as follows. Ap uh, April update. Aptera working with a transmission company. Japan to gather electricity in space. Slate. Uh, Chris Wobbs on Aptera. Cars driving upside down. Cooling is becoming magnetized. And things that I liked. Let's get started. So Aptera did their April update and announced several things that were of note. Um, one of them being how quickly their slots are filling, which they are still filling very quickly as of this recording. They have more than 500 slots filled. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome, man. Uh, they also talked about a road trip that they'll be taking and their progress on Artemis. So yeah, very good update. If you haven't checked it out already, please check it out. So Aptera announces a strategic partnership with InMotive. Um, InMotive is a transmission company that uh, is promising some really nice gains on Aptera's efficiency if they so choose to go with that particular product. Um, it's very interesting to me that they are uh, constantly pushing for more efficiency. Uh, it makes perfect sense considering their ethos. But yeah, uh, essentially this particular transmission, uh, which I will not uh, you know, go into full detail here because there are so many other channels that have gone into great detail and have done all of that uh, research and such already. I have linked them down below. But yeah, essentially, InMotive is promising somewhere in the neighborhood of a 20% increase in efficiency. Uh, a 20% increase in efficiency for Aptera, especially, would be a gigantic deal. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how their testing goes and if they are going to ever include these InMotive transmissions in their vehicles. All right, so Japan has decided to do two things uh, that were very interesting when it comes to um, renewable energy and things of that nature. The first thing they decided to do was focus on perovskite solar cells. Perovskite cells are kind of the future if we can figure out how to keep them from degrading so quickly, which there's been a lot of uh, interesting progress in that department. But at this moment, perovskite cells promise higher efficiency uh, for a lot less longevity. So what Japan is doing right now is they are focusing on photovoltaic cells made with perovskite and uh, putting those cells in space in order to collect that energy and beam it back down to earth with microwaves. It is a very fascinating technology and if all goes well they should have a test of this particular technology by end of year. So uh, yeah they've got a satellite um, that they are preparing. They are going to send it up as a proof of concept let it orbit a few times, collect some energy, and see if they can beam it back down at a specific point at a specific time. Now, when this technology is fully realized, the receiving antenna for those microwaves will be gigantic, like some people are saying kilo uh, kilometers long. So, yeah, the, the receivers will be gigantic, but theoretically speaking, the energy that they acquire will be fairly efficient. Uh, the satellite that they're sending up and that they're using to test is actually uh, about powerful about powerful enough to power like a coffee maker or something like that. So it's a very small proof of concept, but assuming this works, they can refine the technology and make it better. And by end of decade, I believe they should have something uh, fairly substantial if everything works as they intend. All right, you guys already are aware of the Slate pickup truck. It is supposed to be a uh, plug-and-play, build-your-own truck situation. Uh, it is very interesting, in my opinion, to see that there are so many other companies trying to focus on smaller, lighter, cheaper trucks. Um, smaller, lighter, uh, more efficient trucks uh, would probably be the better way of putting that. But yeah, uh, Slate is no different. They are backed by... I. Okay, I'm, I'm thrown off a little bit here because I, I, you know that little, that little motion here that they do every time you switch between the trucks? It drives me absolutely bananas and I hate it. I don't know why. I don't, I, I, I cannot explain it. It just drives me insane. Anyway, this truck is a 
kind of a testament to what can be done if you are willing to build uh, very specific, uh, very specific things for very specific people because you now have a base. Like the base truck is uh, one thing, like it has wheels and a motor and, and things like that. But you put your stereo and stuff in there, you, you plug and play basically, and you can get a lot cheaper product than what most people uh, figured was possible. So I'm excited to see where this company goes and um, their website is fairly well designed. Um, yeah, like I said, that one little thing drives me bananas, but everything else is um, pretty interesting. Uh, they have a reserve page where you can um, put in your email and stuff and, and get your, uh, your, your truck reserved for $50. Um, I am not planning on reserving the slate personally, but uh, yeah, it seems like a very interesting concept and I'm kind of curious as to where it goes. All right, so there's a gentleman by the name of Chris Wobbs who did a breakdown of what he believes could be uh, something interesting with relation to how Aptera solar uh, panels uh, generate energy and how the, uh, how the calculation is done. Uh, he has calculated a very optimistic version of what Aptera has already released. Um, there are several reasons why I believe that he could be onto something, but we will never know these things until it actually gets to production. So, um, it's an interesting video. I suggest you check it out. Uh, the gentleman himself, he is, uh, he is very technical and matter of fact. So if you are not a fan of really technical videos that have a lot of math to them, you might want to skip this one, but I personally found it fascinating. All right, so there was a vehicle uh, that was made by this company called McCur McMurdy Automotive. They produced a vehicle that makes its own downforce with vacuums, and basically it sucks itself to the ground while it's driving to give it better control and things of that nature. This vehicle has such a strong vacuum created when it is driving around that they said, you know what, we're going to go ahead and flip this car upside down and let it basically vacuum itself to the platform upside down. And this, this feat was actually very fascinating and very uh, uh, technically impressive. So I would suggest you guys look into it. Uh, there's a video that um, was made by another guy that I like a lot on YouTube, Engineering Explained. He talks about the, uh, the feet and how they did it and the uh, technical aspects of how this was done. So yeah, uh, I have links to both of these videos, the actual record itself and the, um, the video by Engineering Explained. I suggest you check those out because they are awesome. Um, yeah, technology, man. We're moving <laughs> in strange directions with cars driving upside down um, with vacuums, so. Yeah, good times. Yet another fantastic YouTuber that I've talked about multiple times on this channel, uh, Undecided with Matt Farrell. He does a video on what is a very interesting form of cooling. Uh, it's magnetic cooling, basically using magnets to draw heat away from uh, a fluid, much like they uh, do with, uh, with uh, pumps and compressors and stuff like that. Theoretically, this technology could be used in a more efficient manner, and I figured I'd talk about it because the video itself was very interesting from a technical standpoint and from a uh, standpoint of uh, just seeing new and cool technologies, uh, trying to refine the, uh, the processes that uh, kind of mess up our atmosphere and stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys knew, but the coolant, the, the refrigerant that they use, the, the liquid that they use to uh, transmit heat away from your food. Um, at first it was Freon, which was very dangerous, and now we use a different uh, material that is not as dangerous, but still a uh, greenhouse gas. So they're trying to move away from that, and magnetic cooling is one of those methods. So yeah, very cool uh, technology. Okay, this is super random, but the things that I like this week, uh, there was a dog that was basically driving a car uh he to be most accurate he was actually just rolling down uh the road he could not actually touch the pedals or anything but he uh was maneuvering the vehicle with the steering wheel and 
paying an unusually close amount of attention to uh, the road and uh, his rear view mirror even, his side view mirror even, he looked at that at one point. It was just a fun video to see. Uh, I thought it was fun. Okay, so the next thing that I liked was this interview from Drive the Lightning. They talked about uh, three of the issues that Aptera as a concept solves. So uh, they're talking to a gentleman by the name of Anthony Real. He is a professor um, and is very in tune with the concept of Aptera's uh, general concept. Uh, I don't think he's actually affiliated with Aptera, but he does know a great deal about solar and, and deficiency and things like that. So he talks a bit about uh, the issues that Aptera solves with their concept. And the video itself is fascinating. The questions are well placed um, and uh, well asked, and the answers were just as interesting. So if you guys haven't checked that video out, it's worth a check out. All right, folks, that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been two weeks since I put out a video, and I apologize for that. Uh, there was a bit of a mishap with my hard drive. It decided that while I was copying the data over to my permanent drive, it was going to go ahead and stop doing that and then not be recognized anymore. So I had to reformat my hard drive and I am looking into solutions for uh, backup disks and RAID and stuff like that so that the, uh, the backups can happen in real time instead of me having to copy and paste those things over. So yeah, there, there may be a video or a, a piece of a video where I talk about this again, but it will only be in order to let you guys know, hey, this was the solution that I found so that if anybody else, else decides to get a RAID solution to back up their data and keep a more consistent and uh, uh, transparent method of backup, uh, data backup, then, you know, that'll be a thing. But yeah, until then, uh, I'm working on that issue, learning a lot about uh, different types of hard drives that I would never have learned otherwise. Um, yeah, thank you guys for your time, for watching, for uh, being patient these last couple of weeks while I get this video out. Um, yeah, so we're going to keep on with fast math. Fast math is going to be Friday, so uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, besides that, thank you guys for watching. Do all the youtube -y things uh, that you are all so great at so far. Um, yeah, catch you next time. Chris Wobbs on, Opti on Aptera. Wow, that was a tongue twister.